Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a series of tutorial where we are going to build a REST API with Golang. So in this series, uh, we are going to create the basic server in Golang using the default uh, net HTTP package. In the chapter two, we are going to create a data layer uh, using the inbuilt maps. And in the last chapter, we are going to create CRUD operations uh, on that data layer, like create, read, update, delete. So before we'll start, so what is a CRUD application? So CRUD application is a piece of software that's used to create, read, update, and delete data. So these are the operations which we are going to expose uh, using the API so that uh, other applications or other services can use. So let's get started. So create a new directory called CRUD app and inside this app, uh, this directory we are going to initiate the Golang project using go mod uh, command. So it's going to be go mod in it, uh, then the application name called CRUD app. So once it is initiated, open it into uh, any of your uh, ID. I'm using Visual Studio code. So inside it, create a main.go file. And then we'll initialize it using package main. Uh, we'll create our function main body, clean body. Uh, then we are going to create a simple uh, handler called health handler which will return uh, 200 status and a simple message as uh, server is running. Uh, so this function is going to accept two things. Uh, one is response writer and another one is the request. So response writer is used like when you want uh, whatever you are returning, you will write in it. Okay. So here we can see like w dot write header. It is returning the 200 status code and a message called uh, server is running. Request is used when you are sending something with the request. So that time we'll uh, we'll read it using the request object. So that we are going to uh, explore in future. So after that we are going to create a, a route called slash, and this slash route will listen to health handler. Uh, uh, health handler uh, function, and then we are just going to uh, create a simple print statement. Uh, which will tell at what port our server is running so it is running at uh, uh, double port double. now we will uh, start the server at uh, at double four double four using the listen and serve method and then we'll just uh, handle the error like if, uh, if there is any error then we are just using log dot fatal to stop the uh, application immediately and we'll just uh, uh, return the error as like server error and in the end just uh, just last statement as like server is stopped okay so now we can run the service so open the terminal uh, we can use the inbuilt terminal of VS code or of any of your application and then run main dot to go. So it will start the server at 4444. Then open another new terminal. Uh, so in this terminal, we are going to use a curl request. So hopefully you have the curl. So curl localhost colon double four double four and it will returning server is running. So suppose if you don't have the curl command in your application, so what you can simply do is like you can just copy paste this localhost colon 4444 in your browser and it will return this uh, server is running. Okay, so I hope you like this uh, video. So we'll meet you in the next chapter. Thank you.